Hundreds of people from communities near and far gathered tonight at Julington Baptist Church to honor the memory of Lonzi Barton. The church is just yards away from where police found remains that they believe are Lonzi Barton's on Monday. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker was at the service. She's joining us now live from Bayard. Francesca? Well, I'm standing in front of this memorial, and it just continues to grow and grow. After the vigil tonight, hundreds of people gathered out here just to have a sense of closure, and they also handed out buttons like this one to keep the toddler close to their heart. Father, I want to pray for the, the family. Father, for the ones who put time in, the JSO and all the other organizations that came together to look for little Lonzi. Father, I pray for them, Lord, that you would take this time and, and heal their mind and, and heal their emotions. Thursday night's vigil for Lonzi Barton was no longer just a memorial service for a family, but a symbol of closure for an entire state that adopted the little cowboy taken too soon. Last July. We got a message, and it changed our city. This past week, the remains of such a precious little boy was found, and our hearts was broken again. A love that is bigger, a love that is stronger. I truly wished for the prayer to be answered that we found him, and I, I wanted that because I wanted the lesson to get out there that prayers asked, our prayers answered, and um, you know, so so Monday rolled around here, and and we uh, we found ourselves on Snyder Street, and without going into details, because uh, I don't plan on doing that a whole lot, um, I found myself with some prayers answered. That that prayer brought together thousands, 400 of them right here in this room, many of them children with concerned parents, now holding them tighter tonight. Was lost, but now I'm found. Elanzi, he, he, he has a place. Place is not out there. It's not in the ground anywhere. And he left at an age that it is an assurance. Do you hear me? Without a shadow of a doubt that he is with the Lord. Again, so many people coming out here tonight wanting justice for Lonzi and just really trying to give him that sense of closure and give, give closure to themselves as well. Now, again, today was the fourth day where investigators were gathering evidence in this area. The area that they've been is that area that, that way, but we are told by investigators that that area will be opening up tomorrow. For now, reporting live from Chess Gamaker Channel 4, the local station.